Hey, 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 what's up, party people? Let's go! No, it could be something somewhere in New Jersey, okay. somewhere in the Northeast. Yeah, that's Hold on a second. Talking. I sense that I'm missing gold. So much gold. Yeah. Could yeah. you close the door? <laughs> Chipperson's in operation. Oh, you didn't have to do it. You're a guest. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Now, we should start. Welcome to the show. Hey, have you been you. on before? It's first time. Okay, cool. You should be very nervous. I'm petrified. I understand. <laughs> this is a big deal. I'm having a panic attack. That's all right. Just hang in there. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, there was a, one of the sponsors made a little note. Uh, what was the sponsor? Uh, better, no, better help. Mad yeah. Rabbit. <laughs> Bad Rabbit? <laughs> Mad Rabbit. Mad Rabbit. Boy, they were angry at Chipperson. Wait, let me make sure that's the right, because now for some reason, no, it is Mad Rabbit. I think I'm so. Thinking, yeah. They're a yeah. sponsor. They do tattoo removal, and they, they told me I wasn't saying the word right. Well, some people- How do you say tattoo? Uh, tattoo? <laughs> what? How do I say what? I don't know this word. Tattoo. Oh, tattoo. tattoo. I yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry, Chip. You know what I should have told you? It's like tattooing, but just tattoo. And then you don't. Oh, so it's like I, next time I'll say like uh, Mad Rabbit, uh, they'll take your tattoos off. That's, that's is better. tattoos better? Tattoos is better. I think you're right, though. Yeah. How do you spell tattoo? T-A-T-T-O-O, -O, right? Oh, the oh. I think See, if they wanted to be tattoo, it should just be a U. Oh wait, or is it one T? That's you know what I was. I used to spell it T U H T U H tattoo. I thought that's how you spelled it. I apologize. A little spelling sounds like an Arabic man. Yeah, it's tattoo going to remove your tattoo. Yeah, tattoo. We're careful, Danny. You're being assaulted. Yeah, there's a man pushing you over. Have we started? Stop Asian hate. No, we're just getting we're oh. just getting simmered in. Yeah, yeah getting everybody off. All, all right, well, well, thanks for coming yeah, back, DT. Yeah, the no head, doubt. Oh, your headphones are on proper. I was going <laughs> to inform you. <laughs> you're way up at the top. You're looking at. Yeah. And uh, okay. welcome back, Daniel. Daniel Horsepecker Curland. <laughs> yep, that's right. <laughs> is that your official walkout name? <laughs> well, 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 it is. It could be now. <laughs> yeah, Horsepecker Curlin. Now, Rob, you're a, you're a comedian. Uh, yep. What's the name of your podcast? Let's really give it the platform it deserves. Young Guns Podcast. Uh, what's me and Mike Figs. Oh, okay. What's it about? Uh, we do characters. You wouldn't know anything about that, but we do like no, little. Like, we, we do like little. We do <laughs> I like, hope they're true to life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're very grounded. Uh, no, yeah. We do a lot of like impressions and characters and stuff. We just had Dave on. Yeah, I night. just did it. It's all local impressions. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing like Joe DeRosa impressions. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you one thing, Joey D sandwiches. Uh, he, that kid's gonna make something of himself. Uh, yeah, our Brendan Sackalo impression is gonna take us to the top. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, we're gonna need a little sample of that. I think we sure are. Hey, buddy, <laughs> who's that? What, what are you doing? Who's that? Uh, Paulie Sagalo Shore. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Here's what I hope happens to Derosa. Let me hear you, Joey Derosa. Hey, buddy, how you doing there, Chip? It's like a lot of it was. Oh like, yeah, it, was like, yeah. it sounds like Joe Derosa cookie. Monster, yeah, I love it. Of, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, True TV, they don't, they won't, they won't book me. <laughs> like it's like bitter Kermit. That's yeah, what I it say. sure <laughs> is. <laughs> but here's what I hope happens to Joe DeRosa. I hope he fuck it. I hope his sandwiches. All of a sudden, someone says we're gonna give you a billion dollars to franchise it, and he says okay. <laughs> and at the signing ceremony, he goes into an alcoholic coma. <laughs> <laughs> I just had too much whiskey. I don't know. <laughs> you ever have a Joey DeRosa sandwich, Daniel? Come on, horse pecker, chime in. I haven't had one yet, but I might have to go pick one up for my mo for my mother. It's a birthday. That's so right. Yeah, some up for her. Happy <laughs> birthday to the point. Happy birthday, dear. Now, what are you gonna get her for your birthday? I got, I got, I got, I got, I got her some, I got her some uh, books she wanted. Yeah, because you could say it because by the time this yeah. airs, the the dear's birthday will have passed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got, got, got her some books she wanted. What books did she want? I like yeah, a book. I know, a nice son. Books yeah. and a sandwich. Oh, yeah. you yeah. kick your yeah. feet in the sand. Yeah. <laughs> nice sandwich. What kind of sandwich? Uh, I'm going to go with Joe's recipe. Peanut butter and jelly and potato chips. That's nice. I keep telling him to get a liverwurst. <laughs> You what like about a liverwurst? liverwurst chip? God damn it, babe. <laughs> yeah. You always get me with my own game. Yeah. All right, horse pecker. Now, what exactly are you talking about? Go ahead. 
Your mother's so, birthday. Yeah, yeah, it's my my mother's birthday. So I got I got her some books she wanted. I know she's a she's a huge Stephen King fan. So, yeah, me so. too. He scares me. What books you get him? What Stephen King books you get the deer? I I forgot the title of it, but I know it's a new one. It's a new one. All right, probably yeah. something scary. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a new one. So I got I, I got I got I got I got her books. I got I also I also I also got I also got her got her some got her some shirts for the ballpark. Shirts for the ballpark. Did they say Metropolitans on them? Yeah, some some of some of them have silly things on them. Like what? Well, I went to Florida. You ever see the one I went to Florida and all I got was this lousy T-shirt? That's a really good one. I Original. can't not laugh yeah. when I see that. Every time I walk by, I just go into hysterics. I have a panic attack, just <laughs> oh. like this show right now. Well, how about the one that's uh, uh, FB, a female body inspector? That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. I never even realized that wasn't what the FBI stood for. Yeah. I thought they were agents. I thought the female body inspectors were investigating Trump right now. I was like, damn it, that sounds nice. That's oh, right. Yeah, yeah, that's probably why they broke into his place to find some pictures of Ooh, yeah, they're just trying to fuck him. Uh, <laughs> how about the one that says "fuck you, you fucking fuck"? That one's pretty good. That's fucking yeah. vulgar, though. Yeah, I can't wear that. Too much. Yeah, you don't like profanity. No, I had one. I put black tape over the F word, so it was just you, <laughs> you, you, you. you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very like, selfless shirt. It's I don't just about like. You. Yeah, I don't like the dirty language. <laughs> we I don't. Like, I like the one that says, I'm not gay, but $20 is $20. That's right. Yeah. That implies that you'll... That shirt is not wrong. That yeah. implies that a man will allow another man to slurp on his penis for a fee. For 20 bucks, that guy is definitely gay. 20 bucks is not that much money to go gay. Not at all. Well, yeah. hold on See? a second. Let's not judge. Hey, hey times I... are tough. Sometimes people got to do what they got to do. Like, I'm just true. trying to fact check right. these You're shirts. Right. I wouldn't yeah. kiss a guy, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't allow an older man to eat my hiney behind a dumpster <laughs> for $6. Six dollars? Yeah. Why'd you need those? He told me he had a hundred, and then he performed anal ingus on me, and he handed me over a Lincoln and a Washington. I was like, God damn it! He goes, I'm sorry. I crumpled them up real tight so you didn't notice what they were. Yeah, Yeah, put them in my hand. I didn't even look. I trusted the guy. Yeah. Got home two days later. I remembered I got money. Six bucks. You'd really hope a guy like that would be on the level. You eat his ass behind a dumpster. Yeah, it wasn't the cleanest it's ever been. I gotta be honest, it wasn't the cleanest. Uh, So you basically got paid for him to clean your butt. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I kept wondering, why is he stopping and throwing up? I had spent two days in the hospital food poisoning, and they offered me a shower, and I'm like, nah, I'm in a hurry. Yeah. yeah, you probably could. Yeah, had horse pecker. What do you got? Probably could have got a better deal from an anal bleacher. <laughs> That's right. You have, the, you have a bleach uranium. What color is uranium, Daniel? Yeah. <laughs> it's a no, it's a white guy color. White guy white color. Is color. it a brown color? Like a little brown hue to it? I uh, I don't even know because I I can never really see them back there. <laughs> yeah. What do you think mirrors are for? <laughs> Yeah, all, those are first all, world problems. All, all I all I know is it might be it might be it's a light color. But I don't know. But you sound like you're describing. Yeah, yeah, you might be surprised. But, 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 it sounds like he's describing maybe, a car to hit and run. Maybe, maybe, it was a light color. Yeah. Maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe after I've gone to the bathroom, maybe after I've ate from from that Mexican place, maybe it may have looked a couple of brown. A little darker because of the fecal matter. Go ahead, okay, babe. We're talking hiney holes. Yeah, well, here's my question. So I had sure. Mike Cannon on my podcast, on Qualified Experts, a couple weeks ago. And his theory was, now he was high, but this was his theory, yep. was that your anus gets darker and browner from years of pooping. Mm. Do you think that's how you get a darker... I don't no. know. My I toilet actually, hasn't changed color. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think it's from not moisturizing. I, there's so many theories like, You know how this. like if you don't, like, you could get like blisters and your yeah. skin would just burn up. Yeah, I think just people just don't moisturize back there. <laughs> That'd be funny to you, moisturize your ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I gotta, I gotta keep it young looking. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure like... Porno stars moisturize. They their bleach. Ass. They bleach. But yeah, you gotta moisturize after that, right? I'm sure you do. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. I've never put moisturizer. What color is yours? In my butthole. I I honestly don't know. Maybe a light brown or a pinkish. That's a good color. It's like yeah, the color yeah. of my nipples, maybe. I've yeah. never seen them. I don't look at dirty pictures. They're pink. Oh. Oh. Well, you know what that means. What does that mean? You're clearly Caucasian. Uh, That's right. Yeah. Wow. I never <laughs> round of applause. Yeah. Round of applause for Zia yeah. for being Caucasian. Sometimes. And round of applause for Dave for finally figuring that out. <laughs> That's right. Sometimes as you meet a girl like Zia, take her top off, and she's got brown nips, and you're like, oh. I like those. Yeah, you yeah. You like those? Nice, oh, big Oh, yeah, nip. yeah, yeah. I like when it looks like LeVar Burton ran head on into it and just <laughs> stuck. Nice, big, dark That's a, circle. Yeah, Iranian girls. They look like light, white, white, they look like Italian women, and then they're just dark. They're oh, dark. don't That's you how love you know that? They're, they're black. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're black. They're black. Nice, big nipple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. Areola. It's like Areola. UFO. 
<laughs> yeah. Areola would be a nice name, I feel like. If it wasn't, yeah, right? Doesn't name. that sound pretty? If it yeah. wasn't the name of a nipple? <laughs> Areola. Areola. Did you bother you when Zia talks like she's not wearing Sorry. a brazier? Neither is Sorry, Boba. Bobo. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> no? Okay, good. Okay. No, she has very nice legs. Don't look at her legs. You shouldn't look at her legs, Daniel. Oh, all right, don't worry. His okay. eyes are just staring straight forward. <laughs> no, I, 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 I've done this face exactly like I will not look. Do you, you know? like so her respected. shorts, though? Do you think her shorts are nice or no? Yeah. Are they okay? Oh, yeah, they're good shorts. They're okay. nice shorts. Thank that, you. That, that, from, the, from the expert. Yep. Yeah, yeah, good yeah. Shorts. yeah you, have, you have a nice little mid Midwest look to you. Kind oh, of. Midwest? Okay. What's that mean? Take that. No, like I think I think it's just like a certain. I feel like certain outfits have a v vibe. Midwest, so she kind of looks uneducated. <laughs> no, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Believe me, a little me. racist, maybe. Is that what no, you're saying? No, no there are. Sorry, I'm lib. Uh, yeah. 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 looks like she's good at horseshoes. Oh wow! Yeah, let's get the black people out of here, don't you know? <laughs> believe me, there are pl there are plenty of educated people in the in, in the Midwest. Yeah, but, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, I think summer in the Midwest has a little different vibe than <laughs> yeah. summer in New York. I Looks think. like okay. she's comfortable shoveling snow, betting a relative. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think that I think s snow. What the heck are you talking about? That's more Alaska. She looks like oh, she's not Midwest. She looks like she's settled for a fat guy. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> yes. Chip, you're not a fat guy. No, I was just testing. Oh, okay. You. And oh. you passed with flying colors. Oh, good, thing. good, yeah. This makes me look fat, though. No, 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 it's not. It makes By this, me... I mean Norton's body. <laughs> <laughs> we... Wait, who's Norton? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Great, that's an impression. That's all of show business. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Norton is a uh, a virus. He's the antivirus guy. Yeah, yeah that's he what sure I thought. is. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite Marion Cabretti line? <laughs> Cobra. Stallone's greatest work. It's been so long since I watched the movie. I like, loved what he said that too. <laughs> God damn, you're an expert. <laughs> it's been so long since I watched. See, I do not person. Hey, yeah, hey, I wouldn't watch the movie. He's a cobra. Fucking Homer Stallone. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Bird, I'm Rocky. <laughs> All right, let's do an impression off. Yeah. Chipperson's undefeated. Let's go. Ah, uh, uh, who do you do? Uh, Adam Sandler. All right, go ahead, do Adam Sandler. Hey, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of even. That's pretty, that's pretty close. Kind of even. <laughs> that was very I guess close, this is yeah. an easy impression. <laughs> yeah. What else you got? Uh, Mark Wahlberg. Do Mark Wahlberg. Hey, what's going on? Oh, that's pretty good. That was actually pretty yeah. good. Yeah. I don't do Mark, but I do okay. Dirk Diggler's Pekka. How's that? <laughs> you look a lot like him, actually. That's vulgar. It's a spitting likeness. God damn it. No, I don't. Cut that part out. No, he Babe, looks... that's not nice. I'm no, a that's big not star. Nice. I'm a big I'm a star. I'm a star. I'm a star. I'm a star. I probably got a few myself. Uh-oh. Boom! Tough act and detected. Oh, so fucking well. Johnny Madden. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Madden. You're back when it's like, This is the station to Ron Conkaba. The next station is Mineola. That's the uh, Long Island Railroad conductor. Yeah, the Long Island Railroad, the, the automated announcement. Yep, I talked to that guy at a party. That's a dead on, spot on. That's perfect. <laughs> I know that guy. I talked to him for three hours. Yeah. I'm like, say one more town. And he kept doing it. <laughs> God damn, Daniel. One, give me one more. I can't. I'm picturing the guy. It's big. It's a real. It's out of here. Oh, that's the Long Island guy, no, the, ro no, no, the railroad no, no, guy. No, no, no that's a that's a, that's a Mets announcer Gary Cohen. Oh, of course. I thought you were doing a railroad fun. guy. Can I, again. can I try one? Yeah, go ahead, do one. All right. Hello, Twitter world. Oh, OJ. <laughs> well, yeah. OJ. Rather, yes. My favorite football player. <laughs> Absolutely. He's actually my favorite husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who among us hasn't made a mistake? Absolutely. I mean, you know. God damn, we've all lost a glove here and there, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. I don't support him stealing his memorabilia back, but the other thing I don't care about. I don't like that either. We should have bought it back like a gentleman. Exactly. But the other yeah. thing. Yeah, he's got, he's got money. Could have gone in and just outbitted the other guy. Yeah, I know. Absolutely. Hey, OJ, you heard of eBay? Huh? <laughs> Damn right. Good eBay point. Simpson. I think he was away while they were developing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Twitter world. Hey, yeah, he's a charming guy. Hey, Twitter yeah, you, world. You know what's crazy? He spreads nothing but positivity nowadays. <laughs> he's my favorite well, political. It's weird that no one allows him to spread positivity. <laughs> yeah. He won't yeah. get verified. They won't verify him on Exactly. Twitter. They won't. Yeah. Oh, just give the man 
You yeah. know? We could tolerate one throat cutting, but two is just too much. <laughs> that, was, that was egregious. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have to cut both of their throats. The waiter, one of them. Look, the waiter had it coming. But Nicole, come I on. I mean, Nicole was just kind of hanging out. He was actually being courteous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm-hmm. God damn it. He didn't want to leave. I don't want to leave you out, Nicole. Yeah, N- Nicole was uh, O.J. Simpson's wife. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> I heard. O.J. <laughs> OJ Simpson. O.J. Simpson, yeah. Is it O-J-A-Y? Is that what it actually is? I think so, oh, yeah. Wow. He was a singer, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, was the, he? The O.J.'s. The OJ's. <laughs> yeah, very good. Right, but that's spelled O-H-J-A-Y. <laughs> that's oh. right. And he's a delicious <laughs> breakfast beverage. <laughs> uh, what other impressions you do? Uh, Pacino. Let's hear Pacino. Oh, she's got a burger. I, I do him better. Uh, <laughs> uh, something's wee wee wong here today. <laughs> That was good, Jim. That was really good. That was fantastic. Was that a scene from The Irishman? I was like, I was right there. Yes, it was. That's really great. Yes, it was. Oh, no, wait. It was uh, Arthur, Arthur. Arthur. That was his best mob movie. That's a good one. Yeah. Arthur, Arthur. I haven't even heard of that. Arthur, Arthur. Arthur. Was that the Stephen King book? 1979. <laughs> I got another one. Good afternoon. Ah, uh, the hotel maid. <laughs> no, it's, um, oh. Uh, it's, <laughs> Chris, Christopher Mad Dog Russo, the way he always opens his show. Oh, okay. that's pretty okay. good. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, you should go on Young Guns. Yeah, yeah. We'll have you on. <laughs> oh yeah, who's who's your podcast host? Uh, Mike Figs. I'm trying not to point again, so I'm holding this little knob with me. Oh, yeah. Very, very not to presidential. Because it's rude. Because oh, Clinton right. came up with the thumb, yeah. but uh, I found this piece of equipment, so I'm just going to use it to gesture, yeah. so it doesn't bother. I like anybody. that better than the thumb. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, that's too authoritative. I wish yeah, no, I had a pen. I could throw it around. Mm. <laughs> who's that? Uh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who could it be? Yeah, I got to fucking, instead of, because Hillary was the boss, I would always call them Billary. <laughs> That's really oh, fucking good, yeah, Jim. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking good. Thanks. <laughs> Who's your favorite politician, Daniel? Horse pecker curlin. Yeah. Uh, uh, my, my, my favorite might, it might, have to, might, have to be, might have to be Rudy, because it was the last time. Oh, that's such a movie. It makes me cry every time. Cosby Show? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was Giuliani, because it was the last time uh, I could... Last time I remember going onto a subway, not not re, not being smelling bad. Why did you smell bad? Did you not wash yourself? No, no I didn't smell bad. You I just said, said going on a subway, not smelling bad. Oh, you have I, underarm odor. I wasn't talking about me. I was talking about the train. Did he smell bad? He smells okay. Okay. I was talking yeah. about the train. The train smells bad these days. I nearly threw up on the E train the other day. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Yeah. This sounds like a setup to a stand up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw a fat <laughs> couple, and that's the <laughs> end of it. <laughs> yeah. You know what happened? And everybody understands why it made you nauseous. Yeah. <laughs> the comedy seller is like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> As a homeless guy that practically lives on the train, uh, may have took taken a really nasty dump or something. Oh. I nearly, I, I threw up on the train. I took out. By luck, I had a plastic bag in my backpack, pulled it out, vomited into a bag. Always handy. Why did you have the bag? In case you had to subdue a lady? No. no. It's, oh, it, plastic it's, bag. You know I didn't ask you that question, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He makes that record contact with me as he thinks about no, what he's no, saying. No, yeah. no what, it, what it is is that some supermarkets don't have don't have enough bags. That's right. So mm-hmm. if there isn't anything that isn't has enough room in my backpack... I might have to take out a couple of bag or two to carry the rest of the groceries. I you actually brought up a good point. Why is that that we have allowed that to happen? Oh, the whole bag thing? You can just buy a bunch of stuff, and they'll just ring it up and then just look at you like, yeah, figure out how to get it the fuck home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, the thing that I don't understand is, fine, you want to get rid of plastic. Why don't they replace it with paper? Why don't you just have paper bags then? That's and a you great can recycle point. those. I agree. <laughs> like, then, what the f- Then big paper wins. Or they should fucking <laughs> no. How about this? Over a big paper. How about this? Steel. We hate trees and plastic. So no, yeah. I think steel bags should be made of steel <laughs> or <Steel> lead. <laughs> Heavy lead bags. Yeah. Maybe a oh, pewter yeah, bag. Like that the steel bag it never breaks. Oh, yeah. God. My one yeah. thing when I get groceries, I'm like, I wish this was heavier. Yeah, yeah. I do yeah. too. I hate a light bag. It's the worst. Old well, ladies <laughs> hate light bags also. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> How great would it be to watch an old lady drop a steel bag <laughs> filled with fucking melon? <laughs> onto her foot. <laughs> As she's and trying to climb up her five floor walk up. Yeah, <laughs> she's at the top floor and she drops it on her foot. Oh Daniel, how funny is that? The old bitch breaks her foot. 
Yeah. <laughs> God damn. I swear, in my own head, I hear that cartoon sound effect. I know. Yeah. It's like a Looney Tune. Yeah. Like, Wile E. Coyote goes shopping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the crunch of those like, bones. Yeah. The melons roll back down the steps. She falls backwards. <laughs> oh, Daniel, you understand. Yeah. <laughs> Those old ladies have had it too good for too long. Yeah. That's what I say. Yeah. You gotta take them down a peg. Yeah. Steal bags, you fucking old bag. Yeah. That's right. Steal bags. I, I'd probably get a nice little workout in with steel bags. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, way to make it real. Good for you. Yeah. Talk to me about exercise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can carry a grocery store. You get nice little. You get nice little arm workout. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do some curls on your way up. That's a good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's you look what I like do. you've been working out a little. Well, it's you've a, been hitting the mitts. Yeah, it's been it's been that and uh that that my job. I I I look I, I work I work at a UPS warehouse. Yeah, is that oh, where you're yeah. getting the guns right. from? Yeah, yeah. When you're ha- when you're handling heavy packages, mm. you get gun. You get you get you get guns. Young yeah. guns. What are you getting, baby? Yeah. <laughs> and you just need a little chapstick chip. Oh, chipstick. 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 Well, I got a chopstick for you. Yeah. Oh, oh, Hold on a minute. Oh, um. Oh, that's Burt's Bees. Yeah. The is that one Burt Kreischer's? Like. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> Burt's Bees is breast. Yeah. <laughs> Burt's Bee Cups. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that stuff. You don't like it? No. You don't want to use some after I used it? Ladies are always into moisturizing at the oddest times. It's just, it was starting to feel sore and I, I needed to get some on there. That's what ladies feel like. My lady was just explaining to me that she moisturizes her neck when before going on a flight because your face dries out yep. on a mm-hmm. flight. Really? Yep. Do you understand how much of a woman has to not be paying attention to whatever she's doing on a flight to be like, my face is dry? Yeah, but my you, face you gets feel dry. It. On a plane. Huh? You feel it. Yeah. Your face gets dry on a plane chip? Yes, it does. What do you use? I wake up. Sometimes I wake up and there's like spittle all the way across the side. You ever fall asleep and drool? And then Sometimes. your face smells like dried spit. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chip, I can't say that I have. I had that one time. It wasn't even mine. I was sitting there and a guy next to me fell asleep and he drooled all the way down my ear and into my cheek, into the corner of my mouth. Wait, a man head. drooled on you, Chip? Yeah. I, my was whole it the same guy who cleaned out your ass? <laughs> no, it was a different person. <laughs> Cut that out. That's rude. <laughs> that guy owes me 94 clams. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Mm. Yeah, my whole face smelled like dry spit. Chip, what mm. did it taste like? I didn't taste it. It just touched the corner oh, of my okay. mouth. Oh, okay, okay, good. But it's like, uh, you ever see those white balls in the corner of a manic yeah. depressive oh, I love mouth? Those. Yeah, yeah, I love those. Yeah, yeah. So I collect them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you have a friend that that happens to. Yeah, I yeah. pick it yeah. off and flick it at people. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Daniel? You look like you just that, 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 Now I was about to say, you ever, you ever fall asleep on the flight? Like you fall asleep when you're right before you even take off? And you get woken up by turbulence. Yup, that's yeah. happened to me too. Tur- internal turbulence. Is that what you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a bit of both skin and actually physically turbulence on the flight. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Wow. Like- Where were you going to? What happened? I I don't know. It was like it was about it was it was just it was just like a a little bit over an hour flight to. I think Tampa. I oh my God! Were you scared? Did you scream? Did you say the, land this thing? What'd the, you do? The, the, no, I just it just it's it just it's just shock because it's like for one thing it kind of fe- I, I I don't know how to describe what it feels like you fall asleep and it's like well you're no longer awake I would say would be the yeah. best explanation yeah yeah for that. yeah, yeah exactly. like being dead a little bit <laughs> like being yeah, dead yeah, but you're exa- dreaming exa- exactly yeah. <laughs> and and, and, and breathing it's, 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 I and breathing I, I don't know why it almost feels like I'm high when I fall asleep. If I'm asleep during takeoff, yeah. I really like you know I like what you know what I like about you, Daniel. What? You're very relatable. Yeah, that's right. You know? yeah. All yeah. these things they talk about that everyone experiences. Yeah. And his horse yeah. pecker, believe and me, well, he's got too. a reputation. Yeah. Well, I was throwing. I thought turbulence was the black patch under sitting next to him. No. No. <laughs> the what? Came out smoother. <laughs> God damn it! Whatever I have is rubbing off on Dave Temple. Yeah. <laughs> He's done the show too many times. Yep. Oh, no. I was holding it for too long. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Turbulence sounds like the black guy. Wait, the Bumby Flight. Uh, black guy's name. Uh, passenger 57. I huh? thought his name was Ariola. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that's his daughter. <laughs> Daniel, what are you laughing name. at? Enlighten me. <laughs> no, I'm just laughing at the fact that a girl with the name Ariola, what that's got to be like at high school. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gets 
Cat Cole by not not only her grade but probably every yeah. everybody in the school. Yeah, they probably yell, "Hey, tits!" and throw it down the stairs. <laughs> oh, that's what I would do. Ariola. Uh, <laughs> what a fucking name. <laughs> Got any brothers and sisters? I have a sister. Yeah. All uh, right, older or younger? Younger. What's her name? Uh, <laughs> don't look her up, please. Becky. Our uh, normal name. Yeah. We could beat that out. Beep out, Becky. Her name is Ariola. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll fuck I, sorry, Are you I, kidding? Are you serious? Uh, I, no. What? Is her name Ariola? No, it's not. Oh, I was just saying, that's fucking, what a coincidence. <laughs> what a coincidence, yeah. That would be fucking crazy. Said it was a pretty name. Well, yeah. No, I, was, I thought it was a personal compliment. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to dub a name over hers. Becky! <laughs> Take that. And put it on top when he said her name and when I said her name before. Mm. Well, I think what he's really trying to do is he's trying to protect her identity yep. because she might. Becky! That's She is one. She actually is. I knew it. Yeah. Becky! You said the name. Becky! And I was yeah. like, oh, she's definitely. Becky! <laughs> Uh, Jeff the helper and cover it when I just said that with a different superhero. I, mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. She's easy to find. But uh, Wait, hold on a minute. Uh. Ah, uh, what's another superhero? Uh, 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 uh Jeff the Helper. <laughs> Cal <laughs> Calendar Man. <laughs> Jeff the Helper. <laughs> Calendar Man. Wait, what is Jeff the Helper's superpowers? He's helpful. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually a real nuisance. He does not yeah, really get it. He's believe not me. <laughs> he's like Task Rabbit with a cape. Uh. <laughs> He tries to help old lady with their groceries, but he just drops them on her leg. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, you old bang. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, probably goes to every construction site, probably try to help with the construction. God damn it, <laughs> Daniel. Once again, you put a bow on it. <laughs> so relatable. He was relatable. Yeah. That's a good shirt. I look good there. Fucking mm -hmm. casually <gasps> relaxing. I've never yeah. seen that Oh, is that, is that Chip? Chip? Yeah. Chipperson. Oh, yep. my God. You look like such a gentleman on that shirt. That's right. Yeah. Look yep. at that bowler hat. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say bulge. You got my hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bulge, too. That's right, the babe. Bulge Thanks too, yeah. a lot. It's yeah, big. we tried to hide it. You know? Yeah, I mean, look, but it's hard to hide. It's obscene. Got a lot going on down there. But they, yeah. they, they captured you very well, Chip, mm -hmm. when, they, when they made the shirt. Yeah, they captured Like, it's a regal look and handsome with a touch of being precocious, <laughs> yet not full of myself and aware of everything. That's yeah, very true. It's like Mr. Wow. Peanut. Yep, exactly. Mr. That's Chip. not very nice. And Mr. Chip. What, oh. Mr. Peanut's a distinguished gentleman. He's rich. He is. He's, he's a, rich. He's a billionaire, I he's think. I mean, everyone loves peanuts. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. he's also a pedophile. There's no way. He's That's on the right. Epstein log. <laughs> he's been rich for too yeah, long. He's going to fucking on the Lolita. <laughs> yeah. He might, he, might be on Jeff, he might be on Jeffrey Epstein's uh, little, uh, little list. Uh -oh. That's yeah. a, a fucking much different than the flight log. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> fucking Daniel, I love clarification. One thing I like is clarification. <laughs> <laughs> Little list. Not everyone knows log means list. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. They might think it's a log. Absolutely, yeah. What is he got to branch us up? I don't know. There you, you go. Yeah. I'm not good with log humor, typically. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult. The blind spot is log. log humor for you? <laughs> yeah, so you do impressions on your pod the cast mm. and what else do you have like a theme a subject uh we just we kind of shoot the shit talk about news stories poorly kind of just zia was on too we I've dressed up in too. costume yep what costume I, I know you don't like costumes either but no we, i uh, know we all uh zia dressed up as an elf and mm -hmm. we dressed up as like game of thrones kind of yeah there it was, was you were wearing like a cool fancy you look kind of like a vampire from the 18th 1800s? Yeah, it was like a mage cape kind yeah, of. Yeah, it was and I, cool. And I had like a green wig that didn't really fit and I had a sword. Didn't so. go with anything, but I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> How was your elf costume? My elf costume was good. I had these little elf ears and I had a little corset that went over my peasant type dress. I wore it to the, the Renaissance Fair when I went. Oh, that's so yeah, nice. I've never fun. been there. You gotta go, Chip. We gotta go. No one's ever invited me. Oh my gosh, you gotta come with me next time. Will you dress up? Okay. Yeah? Yeah, and it we will be embarrassing, but I'll do it. What's, no, what do you do? The Renaissance Fair is probably the best place to get zooted. It is. That's right. Drink some mead. Drink some oh. mead. Throw some axes. Oh. Yeah. It's a great combo. A, a, tur <laughs> a turkey yeah, leg? <laughs> yeah. yeah. One big ass turkey. I've always wanted to do that. Me too. It's big, great. Watch them joust. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you you get, have a huge mug of ale. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> it's the list oh, log all over is. again. Okay. <laughs> okay. That actually helped me out because I didn't know what mead was. Yeah, yeah. mead is a warm liquor. Can you have Diet Coke? Yes, they actually do have Diet I Coke. I want to go to Excalibur. Is that Renaissance Fair or Excalibur? Um, What's the restaurant? 
Oh, uh, oh. it's like knights, right? Um, 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 oh my gosh, I went there. Medieval knights. Medieval times. Medieval, medieval times. times. That's medieval it. Times. There you go. I went there. Is for it my nice? Anniversary. Yes. Oh, that's like romantic. Isn't it? I, I hope Nick got a little cool to that night. <laughs> medieval course. times, some mead, a turkey leg. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> medieval times. What's more romantic than New Jersey? Okay. Yeah, just <laughs> fucking guys who didn't get into theater school, joust um, on a horse. I, I would love to see that. Yeah. It's fun, Chip. And they knock each other off. What would you dress up as? A wizard. A wizard is good. Would you have a big beard? No, they itch. <laughs> they itch. So you'd be a wizard. You have a hat? Yep. Okay. Robe? With, with a W. With a W? Yeah. Would Super you cast wizard? a spell? Yep. What kind of spell? I love spell. Oh, I like that. Who would you cast it on, Chip? I can't say. How come? <laughs> Because you're right here. <laughs> Someone's going to Medieval Knights. Chip, I think you just gave it away. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so great. Wow. Is it? Chip's yeah. such a charmer. He, he really is. Yeah. It's, it's hard to maintain a professional relationship sometimes. I understand. Especially when he does this. Sometimes <laughs> oh, 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 don't yeah, embarrass when, me. Uh, I do that when I'm feeling shy. <laughs> <laughs> would, would you adopt a dragon in the, if you were around in that time? Yup, I would. I had one when I was a boy. You had a dragon. Oh, you yep. had a dragon. Did you know? Did you know how to ride that dragon? It never got older, because it was on the wall, and I was teaching it to fly and shoot fire. And then one of the other kids came over and took his shoe off and squashed it against the wall and said it was a praying mantis. <laughs> <laughs> I said that's a fifty dollar fine, Bucko. <laughs> kill the praying mantis. It was a fifty dollar fine. That's for right. You ever hear that? You kill a praying I've mantis. Heard that, yeah. Is that true? Yep. Yes. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. Temple. Let's let's talk about insect murder law. Go ahead. What do you know about the praying mantis killing? Hey, no one knows more about praying than Temple. That's right. God <laughs> damn it! Oh no one knows more. About <laughs> Too bad it's not man tits. I could really chime in. <laughs> praying mantis. <laughs> nah, man. Praying mantis. They used to scare the shit out of me, but they would pop up a lot, man. Yup, because they. I don't understand how they're ex almost extinct because I've seen. Well, a lot because of them. it might be because the women keep eating the men and ripping their heads off bitches. after they. Those bitches, <laughs> that's feminists. Right. Yeah, yep. I know. That's what happens when you let feminism go too far. I know. That's they right. Rip that's what happens in life too. Though. I can say that as yeah. a father, <laughs> as a father, the the woman and the kids' job is to consume all of you until there's yep. nothing left. Feminazi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Appa apparently, it's an STD, but only quicker. Because I think, what is it? They kill They kill the men after they... Uh, they bite their heads off. They bite their, yeah. Heads. Yeah, they bite yeah. their heads off yeah. after they fuck them. <clears throat> what happens mm -hmm. is they make love and the woman, like the guy turns around and goes, did you cut? And before he gets the question out, <laughs> she bites his head off. I hope she messed up and didn't get pregnant. And then she's like, oh, fuck, I ate him too soon. That's right. <laughs> and that's what happens. And now there's not enough of them. If you want to stay alive as a praying mantis, you got to stick it in her ass. And then she's like, all right, we got to go around the block again. This ain't going to happen. Yeah, that's right. Just like a Catholic there, girl. There, there, there's, prob there's probably posters all over in the mantis community. Anal saves lives. That's right. Well yeah. worded. Yeah. <laughs> Another great setup. Absolutely. I like you. You don't require any help. You yeah. fucking set it up and you bring it home. It's like Robin Williams over here. He just goes. Oh, I do him too. Err, <laughs> err. Uh, uh. Uh, and, uh, oh, it's like looking in a mirror. Bicentennial Man. <laughs> <laughs> Bicentennial Man was the first movie I saw that I knew was bad. I was like, I made me cry. It was so good. The robot wanted rights. That's <laughs> so true. The, the robot, robot had feelings. Oh no! Did they give him his rights? They I don't did. remember. I was crying. Oh, I also oh. don't really remember, but I think they did. Okay, yeah. good, good. I the robot surprised. needed love. Uh, robots Would have you... been trying to come alive for a long time. Oh, that's they, right. They yeah. want to be alive so bad. They I robot. Alive. Remember yeah. that? That's right. Yeah, with uh, Will Smith, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was right after. After Bicentennial Man, they're like, all right, people are being too nice to robots because yeah. of that movie. We're and then fuck it, what was the ex machina? Ex machina, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I want to see that. I Oscar haven't watched Isaac. it yet. You've yes. never seen I it? I grew up watching it. shorts. Let's watch it together, baby. Yep. Let's, do it, Let's go to Poconos and, and, and then watch it. One I think you're going to get a little that's... sex machina. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> you're not kidding. She's going to get all fucking sloppy down there. Yeah. Oh, and there was even one question I've always been contemplating when watching Westworld. If someone lost their virginity to a robot in Westworld, does it actually count that they've lost their virginity? That's, That's a, a great, great question. That's why I love doing setups. Yeah. <laughs> all, yeah. You're setup right, master. Daniel. <laughs> Does it count if it's a metal pecker? Yeah. Would you notice? Like, could you go behind a robot? Would you feel? I I don't even know. Supposedly in Westworld, those robots are insanely lifelike. That. Yep, they are. It is, yeah. <clears throat> 
When do you count virginity? Is it when you just put your penis into the vagina, or do you have to come, or is it getting blown? P and V to me, I P think. And v. Yeah. yeah. When the P goes in the V, I feel like that's when it happens. Yeah, when for it the breaks. girl. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, for the guy too. Plane. When guys, is yeah. That, oh, okay. yeah. I feel like a blowjob's not quite there. Or, I don't know. Or the oh, how did my mother say it? Or the Eat. shitter. <laughs> if it goes in the shitter, you're no longer a That's virgin. how your mom put it to you. <laughs> yeah, she was sat me down one time about getting a girl pregnant. <laughs> Did she say if you put it in the shitter, then she you can't She said, get Lyle, it? you don't you don't wanna you don't wanna get a girl pregnant, so just put it in the shitter. Yeah. Wise woman. <laughs> Lyle, don't let a man eat your shitter for six dollars. <laughs> I wish she had said that, but he promised me a hundred. I should have counted it right then. Yeah, yeah. But I mean I feel like he paid you, you didn't do anything to him. So he paid you to do something to you. I, I think didn't you're do much real. to him. Well, uh, what did you? Uh oh. What did you do, Chip? Nothing. What did he make uh, you do? Yeah, he, he couldn't. I had to finish him off. Oh, oh no, no, Chip! In your mouth? No. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not a queer. No, no, not no. It, well, I think you're. It's only queer if you kiss. No, he. <laughs> he <laughs> made, that's how that works. He good. made me yeah. hold my hand like this. Oh, okay. And I had some dog food, and he put dog food in my hand. Dog and food? then he humped it. I had to look the other way. <laughs> okay, that's not gay. You didn't look at him. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that doesn't count. <laughs> Technically, he's fucking the dog food, not your hand. Not my exactly, hand. It's a layer, yeah. 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 God, I should have counted that money. Pedigree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm shocked. He didn't, I'm shocked he didn't ask you to do that. I'm shocked he didn't use one of those. Uh, remember, remember those days when McDonald's had those apple pies that were hotter than a Oh, sauna? I know, yeah. yeah. I, mm, yeah. I think that seemed like something you'd want to... Uh, what? Then, Say it. You, you know, uh, W. Loden. Like American Pie. Yeah, exactly. I think that's something he, he would want to use. Is that what you thought of when you saw an apple pie at McDonald's? Ah, I'd love to come in it. <laughs> no, it's just uh, those, those days. Remember, I just remember those things would would uh, would, would burn you. They they were hotter than the sun. Those apple pies. What's the weirdest thing you ever stuck your pecker in in order to achieve orgasm? Mm. Uh, That's a good question. My yeah, Asian wife. woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the weird the the, the weird the weirdest thing uh, when I had to him, I may have jacked myself and may have. Uh, in an, an empty Dunkin' Donuts cup. <laughs> you Oh, you Donuts tugged cup? your pecker and you came in an empty Dunkin' okay. Donuts cup. All yeah. right, how about you? So, uh, I never was a guy who, like, fucked things. Uh, I, I Sock is probably it, right? Sock. <laughs> oh. Sock is pretty Bless pathetic. You, especially if you wear it again, you know? Yeah, <laughs> <absolutely>. <laughs> wear it. yeah I was tight on cash. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to... Or you play croquet with it after. <laughs> yeah, so I had to use it as a grocery bag. <laughs> Solid and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, fucking cover your hockey belt. Well, I couldn't think of nothing. Uh, yeah, how about you? What's the weirdest thing you ever inserted into your... Uh, into your V-hole. See, this is the problem. Guys guys don't have a lot of good sex toys, but girls do. So we have a lot of options. I never had to stick anything weird in there because there's so many dildos for us to choose from. Those are weird. You don't think they're weird, but those are weird. Yeah, have you ever seen the alien ones? Yeah. 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 What's the alien one? They have, uh, what's the brand? Do you guys remember what it's called? They have like, they they look like alien dildos. Microsoft? Like alien penises. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alien That's wear. alien wear. Yeah, alien wear, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for gaming. <laughs> Chip's a Chip gamer. Like that you knew that. And you went right into gaming stance. This is you're embarrassing you... me. I was oh, just sorry. being shy. No. Dead. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, uh, that reminds me. I actually did fuck a flashlight. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Oh, please. Been there, done that. Yeah. 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 Fucking drink out of it after, like you're doing <laughs> oh. a shoey. <laughs> no. Nice protein shake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did it on a dare. <laughs> I made love to it, and there was forty guys watching. They go drink. Drink, oh. drink. I fucking chug a lugged it. Chip, I feel like you could be swindled into doing gay porn. This is this is a lot of things. No, there was a lot tricked. of cell phones going, but I, I fucking swigged out of it and slammed oh it down. My gosh. I was expecting an applause, but nobody just walked away from me. <laughs> that was a renaissance fair. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you want a really good laugh from the looks you'll get? Try clean, but try being seen cleaning one in the dishwasher. God damn! <laughs> You ain't lying. Yeah. I didn't clean my. I didn't know you were supposed to clean them. You are, yeah. I actually used a condom to fuck my flashlight, God, which was, so I wouldn't have to clean it. <laughs> that's that's, that's wow. very responsible. Yeah. I think you could share with a friend. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is true. I didn't know you were supposed to clean it, so I was using it for about two years, and then I stuck it in one time, well, and it had like belly button depth, and I'm no. like, oh. Yeah. That's why it, that, this well, why it was smelling very Fake short. vagina got bacteria vaginosis. <laughs> it just got, it got backed up like a, like a fucking earwax. Well, well, I'll know next time when condoms are the next thing there's a shortage of. I'll know why. <laughs> Because I used one? <laughs> no, because you're, use, you're using them on flashlights. Yeah. I don't He's, anymore. It was just, you know, brief. Using rubbers to fuck a flashlight. I don't get it. But, but I'm going to predict right now, that's going to be the next thing there will be a shortage of is condoms. Why? Because really? so? Roe v. Wade, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. And so monkey it's, pox. it's It's, it's going to be the that's next right. thing. That, that there will be a shortage of it, a, a such a big shortage of it. They're probably going to end up having a buy, buy a, I'm going to predict they're going to have to import them from Siberia. Why Siberia? Do they make condoms there? They're going to be cold. They have a lot of sheep, I heard. Oh. Sheepskin condoms. Yeah. I don't like condoms. But Why don't yeah, we no just skip does. the middleman and just fuck the sheep? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they do that in some places. You know, you're joking, but they do have very real feeling vaginas. <laughs> I never had sex with one, but there was one on a farm I stayed at, so I used to finger until it ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I'd call it over, and it would think I was going to cut its fucking thing off, and I would just finger bang it until it went raw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tried that with a llama. It bit me. Would you at least Ugh. feed it first? <laughs> oh, yeah. He'd be sitting over there eating sometimes. Okay. A couple of fingers. <laughs> He's a gentleman. Out. He'll take it out to dinner. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Hey, it was go. just funny. <laughs> what was the, lo- the llama's name? Or the sheep's name? Sheep didn't have a name because oh, they slaughtered it. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least you gave it a good time. The llama's name was Bill. You tried to finger Bill? Uh, yeah. I think it was a butt chip. I know. I found out the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Llamas don't respond well to having their anuses toyed with. <laughs> <laughs> Very angry. He bit me really hard on the top of the head. Oh, no. Spit in yeah. your face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they told everybody I was a fruit. <laughs> I didn't know they talked. Yeah, they didn't, but he kept looking at his anus and then going, oh, and he would gesture yeah, towards he me. He didn't talk. He said that in email. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh. oh. I think he was joking. He's a Jeff. llama. <laughs> they don't have computers. That's true, Dave. That um, sounds like a lie that you just uh, told. I'm, al- I'm also going to predict the next uh, alternate fuel craze. The next alternate fuel. What do you think it's be? gonna be? Yeah, wait, hold it's the gonna, envelope up to your head first. Like, yeah. it, it's gonna be human urine. Oh, hum, also hum, the next uh, beverage. Uh, uh, <laughs> human urine. The yeah. next <laughs> craze. Yeah. Hold <laughs> on, <laughs> Karnak. Yeah. Yeah, 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 what yeah, is that, a dope or rope and soap? Gonna, uh, what are we gonna, gonna run out of? Condoms. Do you wear them, Daniel? You have to, because everybody wants some of your cum. You got to make sure you throw them away afterwards so they don't yep. steal your jizz. Of course, of course I have. Always use them. Good. Yeah. Good boy. Do you wear them? Naked guy wear them? Me? Well, no. Not not now. Dirty girl. <laughs> well, you know, I've been with the same guy for eight years, so it'd be kind of silly at this point. Dirty girl. Sometimes <laughs> girls mess up the pill. I keep a few around just in case. I don't. I'm not I even take on it birth just control. In case. No? No, I just track my cycle. When I'm ovulating, oh. we just don't. For like five days, you can only get pregnant for like five days out of the month. That's right. It's not. It's not really? actually. Yeah. Once I started like your... tracking, then no, like zero issues. Yeah. Yeah. That's good for you. Thank you. I like do you, that. Do you like period sex? Period sex is the best. Oh. Oh wow. my god, it's yeah. my favorite. More like exclamation yeah. point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For me, it's a question mark. What's happening down there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna it's gonna be my next line, my next product, Bobo's period sex, the de- detergent. Okay, well, what is it? Good. What is it? Clean that's off good. the pecker or the cuda? Yeah. Be- be- bed sheets. Oh, be- bed sheets. I thought it was for the the dishwasher for your flashlight. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 it's bed. It's it's bed. It's bed sheets. You clean. It's the best stuff to clean to clean your bed sheets after you've had period sex with your wife or girlfriend. You're 100 percent right. You ever get a big mess on the bed, Daniel? I hate when that happens. That, that hasn't happened yet, but God forbid it did happen. You want the best deodorant in it. Yeah, I mean, you want the best detergent in the business. That's why you need Bobo's period period se- sex deodor- de- detergent. God right damn it. There. <laughs> that's it it the, took that's you a minute, commercial. but when you got there, it was worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, be, I'll tell you one thing. 
What I do if a girl has a period on my bed while we're making love, I photograph it. I've done that before, mm. and I send it out to all the Facebook contacts. And I'm like, look what she did to my bed, oh, and no. that will stop her. Mm. That's actually how Johnny Depp won his game. It <laughs> sure is. Yeah, mm. Amber Heard is fucking, oh, she oh, good in the I'm, sack. Yeah. Oh. You, 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 did you fuck Amber Heard? No, but I would love to. You I would. told a lot of people I did. She got angry at me. <laughs> well, did you hear she got offered a multi-million dollar deal to do adult movies? Maybe you could be one of her co-stars. I'd give a turtle tongue her. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, God. Teach her how to make a comma. Where would you do it? Feet. Feet? Okay, feet. Or backside. Mm, Don't ask me over. questions like that. <laughs> Sorry. Very fresh. I'd come in her chip. bed. It's right on her bed. Right Should on her everything bed. else is in there. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Throw that in a dog log. I, I always wondered if porn stars get paid for the load they take. Well, they're not doing it for free. Believe me, they get paid. Yeah, no, no, but paid. I mean, do they get paid for the movie or do they get paid like maybe? Little... Oh, by the jizz. I know yeah, what yeah, you're yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 like maybe yeah. they maybe they have you know how you know how athletes have incentive clauses in their contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like they get like if let's say they lead the league in home runs, they get a little extra on their money that year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, so do, she's like, getting... like do they get maybe paid paid a little extra if they take a. If they, right. If they, if they let's say they take they take a they take a cock in the ass, they get paid extra. So you're saying like baseball, if it goes on a stomach, that's like a double. Yeah. If it goes in the eye, that's like a three run home run. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm not talking about stats. I'm talking about like money, money like on the contract. The, yeah. Well, right. Yeah. But you get paid. Like yeah. if you do anal, you at least get an Uber home. Right. Yeah. 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 And if yeah. you do, if you do gangbang where you take multiple loads, you get a sandwich after at least. I hope yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. A little yeah. bit of food. What kind of sandwich would you want? Sandwich. What kind of sandwich would I want? Yeah. You know what? I like a nice turkey with honey mustard and bacon. Ah. Ooh. Is that your post sex snack? That's my post sex snack. Oh, good for you. Yeah. I do love a turkey Reuben. You ever have a turkey? Oh, Reuben? turkey Reubens Those are, are so good. good. They actually at the deli across the street. I brought this up on our show <laughs> last night. But at Sunny and Annie's, they make a great turkey Reuben. All right, I'm gonna remember What's that. your after sex food? Logging. <laughs> 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 that away chips what's that chipperson <laughs> 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 what kind of chip regular lays Legs, just okay. your regular basic chips because yeah. you get laid you have a lays yeah. after <laughs> yeah, yeah is, chip is that your sexual conquest you call them regular lays <laughs> what's no. your what's your after sex snack it would be a chicken parm from an Italian restaurant. <laughs> Very specific. That is really I good. I like that. That's Particularly right. from Anthony's on <laughs> yeah. 73rd. Yeah. yeah. No bodegas. Yeah. No, I like don't blame that. you. You want to just treat yourself <laughs> after a job well done. Yeah, I think absolutely. it's more of a meal than a snack, but it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> you like a chicken parm? Yeah, exactly. Plus, you got to admit, after you've got... After you've gotten some, you want something extra special. Every That's right. Goes. After you figure, after you've put Aww. it down properly, <laughs> you want to treat yourself. Yeah. Get your energy back. Yeah, exactly. What's your after sex meal? Turkey sandwich oh, with bacon and sandwich. honey mustard. Sometimes I have a little ice cream too. Oh, it's ice yeah, cream, you scream, cream. we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> yeah, that sounds, like you're, it. sounds like you're ashamed of what you just did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm rocking back and forth in the shower eating my ice cream. Yeah. Like, oh. Oh, I just had consensual sex. <laughs> with yeah. my husband. Oh, God. <laughs> What's your favorite meal? I take a bath and scrub my vagina until it's bleeding. <laughs> I cry and write a gratitude list. That what, doesn't scream. What about you, Chippa? What's your post-sex meal? I like to drink heavy cream, <laughs> even though it affects me very negatively. I'm lactose intolerant. It's just gas. Yeah. I, the girl and me are laying there, and I'll take one sip. <laughs> <laughs> Does it give you the Hershey squirts? Oh, it's really bad, Chip babe. is yeah. drinking the cream like, get ready for the Dutch oven. Yeah. <laughs> you, think, you think you cream? Just wait till you see this. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, those oh. hot ones under the, the ones you can feel creeping up your back. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's that nice fucking heavy cream. Yeah, nice gallon of this heavy cream. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, he gets it. <laughs> hey, is that really a Metropolitan? Oh, it's a Yankee hat. No, no, that's a Mets hat. I couldn't that's see it. Hat. This yeah. was a Mets hat that uh, earlier this year they wore on Armed Forces Day. Mm. Oh, okay. Ooh, that, cool. that that that's why the camouflage. They wear. So, are you more a Yankee fan or a Met fan? I'm a Mets fan. Oh, yeah. okay. How does that break down? Who, what type of people are Mets fans versus what type of people are Yankees fans? Good question. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, pop one of the ways. Maybe you grew up closer to City Field. Uh huh. 
Or, or Shea that, Stadium. Or Shea you Stadium. Mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm old enough to remember Shea Stadium, so I grew up closer to Shea Stadium. Okay. And the combination, maybe your parents brought you to a lot of Met games. Yeah. Mm. Or maybe your genitals were brutally tortured watching one team, and you go, the other one <laughs> has better memories for me. Yeah. Chip, did that happen to you, Chip? Yeah, well, a friend of mine used to have his scrotum twisted with pliers <laughs> every time the Mets would give up a home run. Oh my. Yeah. That's... He became a big Yankee fan. I, I bet. <laughs> Not I bet. Me, friend of mine. Just a friend? That's yeah. not very nice. Yeah. We laughed at him in school. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Mets. Who's your team, Chip? I used to like the Yankees because mm. I would always like Phil Rizzuto. Oh. The Scooter told such riveting stories. Yeah. <laughs> I like his name because it sounds like Risotto. I, I, I think the of exact food. Same. Yeah. Do, you, do you remember him? I don't know. God damn. Who remembers Phil Rizzuto, Frank Messer, and Bill White? Right in. Tell me your favorite <laughs> memories. <laughs> right. There'll be a PIX 1970s. Were you alive for Bucky Dent's three run home run? I don't think so. God damn it. Ah, the scooter. That's when he was playing. Oh, you wow. should show him in front of the money store, and he was an old man hawking the money store. That's fucking the scooter. Yankee shortstop. He passed away, R.I.P. Oh, no. Played with Yogi Berra. You know who Yogi Berra is? Hey, boo boo. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> he always has a picnic basket. That's true. Yeah, I know. Really. I, uh, yeah, he said all the funny stuff, right? There he is. Yeah. Yeah, look I, at that I'm man sure of class and dignity. Pretty flashy I got guy up in the Bay Area. I'm pretty yeah. sure there's a Yogi Berra like quote or statue out in San Francisco somewhere. Right is up, there really? Yeah, outside the baseball stadium. Oh. oh. It's probably got human feces uh, on it at this point. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Honestly, absolutely. Probably within days of being erected. A couple yeah. needles. Yeah. yeah. It has monkey yeah. pox. The statue has monkey pox. <laughs> I was now. in the Tenderloin district. Oh, nice. Were you? Yeah. Yeah. Terrible place. I was running back and forth up and down the street, and somebody yelled out, put your shoes on, Jippison. Yeah, don't have your shoes yeah. off in the Tenderloin. You're I was gonna, barefoot. Yeah, I was no, going to step shit. on a fucking needle. I know, I did. I was, yeah. Did I, you? Did you get a disease? I'm not. I'm fine. If you I start are... losing weight, I'll go take a test, baby. Okay. You, <laughs> you stepped on a needle and you had to take a test. Oh, I'd say about 17. I stepped into a gutter and there was a bunch of them in a cup. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I ate two chocolates. I got all sugared up. <laughs> two chocolates <laughs> in yeah, it? Yeah, I ran up and down the tenderloin block. You dropped on a pile of needles like a Looney Tune. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Yeah. Well, there was you... some guys shooting up and I ran. I was just running where the curb meets the street. A lot of stuff gets kind of bunched up there. Why for you, sure. like, you were running right on that line? <laughs> yep. Chip, Was it's it... amazing you're still alive, frankly. <laughs> yeah, I have a pretty good uh, immune system. <laughs> yeah, In you high do. school, I was voted boy with the best immune system. Oh, nice. I'm pretty sure the only reason Chip is still alive is because he's been sacrificing pets for years. Oh, no, I yes. haven't. It's been accidental. Yeah. You ever have a pet die? <laughs> yeah. What'd you have? A uh, dog, German Shepherd. Ah, oh, what'd he die of? Uh, uh, just old. Old dog. Did you get another See, one a nice after? Story. Yeah. No, well, my dad did. It was my dad's dog. Were you sad when he died? I was, I was actually really fucking sad. How mm. long did you have him for? Uh, it was like a childhood dog, so like 12 years. I oh, say. okay. How'd they tell you that they had to put him down? Uh, my dad was just like, oh, well, Robbie, uh, you know, Max isn't doing so good, and we had to take him to the hospital, and, you know... Is sad. Another local impression. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, I do it on stage actually. You guys like stand. impressions? Hey, this is an impression of my father when he told me my dog died. Yes. Here's my dad feeling melancholy. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, "Well, Robbie, uh, tear down that wall." <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sounds like Ronnie Reagan. Yeah. God damn. Because that was a good Reagan. Thank you. What's your dog's name? Your dog's name is uh, Mr. Maligan, right? Mr. Malunigan. And he's, he's a, a schnoodle. fucking, uh, he's a fucking uh, dachshund. He's a, he's a poodle schnauzer mix. He's a schnoodle. What's that called? It's a schnoodle. Oh. Ah, how long you had that dog? I've, uh, I've, uh, I've, had, I've had him for maybe maybe 11 years or so. And the uh, other one's name is Jesse? Uh, uh, well, well Ro Rosie Shea passed away a year ago. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry. She, she, she was a beagle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rosie Shea after the stadium. Yeah, exactly. She was a beagle and had a bark that could be heard from almost from the entire block. I hope that's what it says on a headstone because that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, and, it, and, and it, 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 was, it was loud and deafening. Like it was like a howling. Like it was like. <gasps> there is oh, a my. dog that. <laughs> Boy, I've got no, competition. Dude, could, you do, could you do two more, Bobo? Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Here's my... Yeah, Thanks, I'll, Dave. I'll, I'll be the burglar. I'm going to go in and steal from Daniel. You'll be... Ro okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's the sound. 
That's the sound he makes from a cage after the burglars yeah. put him in there and still rob the house. <laughs> All right, if anyone is Let's still listening. <laughs> Everyone is still listening. Right, so we got to do the promo for this week's episode. All right. All right. This week on Chip Chipperson. It's me, Bobo. <laughs> no, you missed it. Oh, no, you got to do the dog impression. Yeah. All right. Hold on a second. Let's time it out, Daniel. Okay. All right. Tune in to Chip Chipperson this week. <laughs> Phenomenal. Dude, we have one of those at, uh, at my dog park in the neighborhood, and he is so fucking annoying. He, he does that all the time well, with beagles. What, I did a spot on beagle impression? Yeah, yes, I would absolutely. be honest. I've heard absolutely. a lot of beagle impressions because I went to a place where there was a big beagle impression contest. That would have been the winner. I didn't know that that was a thing. Oh, yeah. 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 Every year oh, at the yeah. Javits Center. Yeah. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. I do beagles impressions like John, George, Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Comedy. Yeah, the Javits Center every year, they have 15, 20,000 people coming in doing Beagle impressions. That was probably the best I've heard. Yeah, yeah pr probably heard, probably, probably heard like in, from an entire end of Manhattan. If it, if that one could be heard from an entire block, that could probably be heard an entire end of Met, an entire section of Manhattan. That's right. Yeah. From, from the, from the, from lower Manhattan. Up in Manhattan. Wow. Who needs a bat the two signal? sections of Manhattan. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Right it goes right over Central. Yeah. Nobody hears it in Midtown. You know, <laughs> <laughs> radios are too loud. I don't know. <laughs> Couldn't think of nothing. How long have you been doing your podcast, Rob? A uh, new one. We've been doing it for about six months, but it's already got a good amount of listeners and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's great. Oh, but and we have good fans. And are we plugging or no? Can I plug? Sure. Can I plug something. Uh, I'll be at, well, me and my co-host Mike Figs will be co-headlining at the Auto Bar on October 9th in Baltimore. So please come out to that. We're gonna, oh, Baltimore is really, really, really nice. Yeah, I had a storage unit down there. It was called Yourself Storage. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Wait, why did you have a storage unit in Baltimore? I had just put a bunch. My friend Benny uh, Benny Benji Raspail had like a little storage unit, and we had a bunch of stuff in there. It was a giant storage unit. Oh, I got, I got, I got two things to plug. I got my uh, podcast that Minus I co-host. That's every, right. Every, 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 uh, every, uh, every uh, thir Thursday, best seat in the house podcast. Yep. Every thir we upload new episodes every Thursday on on our, on our YouTube page. My Twitter account is Bobo One Zero Three NYC. Also, I'm uh, pr I'm opening for Mark Norman on a uh, on a uh, September twelfth. At a B side comedy club in a in a Scarsdale. Whose is that? Uh, Joe Manneries. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Bobo opening yeah. comedy. Yeah. That was a good Mark Norman. B side, A side, A yeah. Canada. The B stands for Bobo. <laughs> the B stands for Bobo. Bobo side, West side. So what are you plugging? Uh, new album. Dropping September 2nd. It's called Facebook, YouTube, Amazon. Pre-sales are available now. So if you go to any of my social media, I'm Dave Temple on all platforms. Click the link in the bio and you can get that. If you don't know whether you want to buy it, go listen to my first two albums for free. First one and the second one. And tell me what you think. Nice. Do you know Benjamin Raspail from uh, Baltimore? I don't know. Oh, all right. He's I big in the storage unit business. <laughs> is, this, is this storage war, from Storage Wars, Chip? Is that no, where it's he's from? Not. No, Okay, okay. I was it's just called yourself storage. You're yourself. heavy in the storage community. And, yes, in the storage yeah. scene. A bunch of stuff. <laughs> and how Somebody much, I know left a pupa. And and how much what? you pay for a month? Do you get do you get like a good deal if I mention you to the guy who owns the place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just tell him that Benjamin Raspail sent him. Do you need to store stuff in Baltimore as well? No, but maybe some people I know in Baltimore might be looking for a storage place. Yeah. Then. Yep. That's uh, a typical yep. Queens guy. And if they don't oh, believe yeah. you, say, you were telling me the truth back in Baltimore. Please continue. <laughs> 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 They'll understand what you're talking about. Okay. What are you plugging, babe? Uh, Zealand Everywhere, X I A L A N D. Subscribe to my YouTube, my Twitch, my OnlyFans, Unqualified Experts is my podcast that's up on YouTube. Um, there's new episodes every Saturday. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. And uh, go to chipchipperson.com to get merchandise. There's a lot of stuff I haven't been plugging it. There's new shirts and whatnot, new what? stuff going up. New shirts and we don't know about it? Chip, what are I the I don't new know shirts? if it's up. Yeah! Sorry. Well, that certainly came up. Yeah. 
I don't know. We have to I have to organize it. Okay. When we organize it, we'll let the people know because they're going to want to know There's about these shirts. There's a new chip shirt. Right. A guy drew it. It's really cool. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. Is it on the front page? We, yeah, that's it. Oh, wow. wow. Chipperson's on fire. Handsome devil. <laughs> yeah, that it sure is. is. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Handsome devil. Thank you. <laughs> that's going on the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to get one for myself. Oh, yeah. You ought to get one. I'm sure you got a discount, you know, mm-hmm. but it's not a five-fingered one. Handsome yeah, yeah. devil. Yeah. That's cool. Can I get a Thanks. Can I use that? I think you already use it. I was just reading the name of the product. <laughs> oh, did it say that? <laughs> 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 Thank God. I don't have Someone's to Someone's not it. involved with their merch planning. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just say so many things, babe. It flies out. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Now we're going to. Now, thanks, I said. Uh, by the way, great news. You've passed your audition. Oh. Oh. Were you nervous? Uh, I was. I was having a panic attack the, the full whole time. time. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally uh, disassociating as we speak. But yeah. luckily, I did ketamine in between in the middle of the podcast. I understand. So, okay. I used okay. to dissociate as a boy too during certain babysitting episodes. Oh. Was it when you were being babysat by your uncle? Yes, it was. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That happens sometimes. It's normal. Yeah. Simmer down. <laughs> You're acting too wild. Oh, no. <laughs> He'd give you a glass of warm milk and a Yes, he would. PM. It would help me sleep for two days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sleep so hard, my butt would hurt. <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> this is barely happening. It's time on PM. And then he accused me of stealing stuff and hiding it in there. Oh, no. So you have to go look for it? <laughs> no, yeah. He's uh, fishing around in there. <laughs> Found all the stolen booty. I was looking for my keys, Shipper. <laughs> oh no! All right, listen. Now, do you know how we end the podcast? No, how do you we end do it, babe? Be- beagle impressions. Oh, beagle impressions. <laughs> Ooh, it's me, the beagles. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna count down, count down, and then we say, "Tell him, babe, I can't do it. It's my thing." Okay. Chippy Kaye, and then we get to the end because we don't like to swear. Okay. We say father muckers. Father muckers. No okay. dirty yeah, language. No dirty oh, language. Okay. Now okay. pick. Now uh, uh, star of the show, Daniel Horsepecker Curlin. Pick a number and we'll count down from it. All right. Five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Chippy Kaye for the muckers. Always remember that the important things in life don't change unless somebody is willing to do for you to change them. Anybody do a Beagle impression? Nope. I hate it. What's up, party people? Let's go!